hi guys welcome to my channel the pink pot is out so you know what that means it's time for a daily dish i'm still using these pink pots by the way guys i got them on amazon like three years ago so i'll link them down below still using them still growing strong but i'm starting with some hot oil in the pan and adding some onions and i'm gonna cook my onions down partially before i go ahead and add my garlic just so that my garlic doesn't burn uh, pretty much all my recipes start with onion and garlic, right? If you're not starting with onion and garlic, are you even really cooking? I don't know. Next, you're going to add your ground meat. You can use any ground protein you want. I think this would actually be amazing with ground pork or ground sausage. If you eat that, trust me, do it. I think this would be a way better dish with it. I'm using ground turkey because I stopped eating pork, but I'm cooking it down partially and then I'm going to season it. I did a basic seasoning, just green seasoning, salt, pepper, and paprika, and then I finished um, cooking it all the way through. Next, I'm going to add some tomato paste. I added half a can. I remember that this was half a can because I used half a can previously. I think it's about like two heaping tablespoons though, if I had to guess. And then I mixed that in and incorporated it. Make sure you're mixing it really well so it doesn't burn because I find that tomato paste because um, the sugar content can burn pretty quickly. And then after that, I added a can of diced tomatoes. And everybody say hi to Marley. <laughs> She's stalking me as usual. Like I cannot be in the kitchen without this, this kid stalking me as if I don't feed her. So we're just going to mix those diced tomatoes in and then add some broth. Um, about four cups I think I added but honestly you can add as much or as little as you want if you want to fill the pot up go for it um, you can add chicken broth beef broth vegetable broth whatever broth you want I used chicken broth but honestly is it just me or do they all taste the same <laughs> I don't know um, let it simmer down and once it simmers down then I seasoned my broth and I used black pepper uh, Italian seasoning oregano, basil, and chili flakes. And then I added one to two cups of heavy cream just to get that creamy, beautiful blush rosé color. Isn't that so beautiful? I just think it's so pretty. So once you achieve that beautiful color, you're going to add some green. We need some green in this soup. I'm adding this frozen chunk of spinach, frozen spinach, you can add spinach or kale, fresh or frozen. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I really like spinach, so I always use spinach. And um, let that come to a boil just so that the spinach melts. And look how pretty it is with the green in it. I wish I had more spinach because I think that mine needed a bit more green. So if you have a lot, just use a lot. The last step is to add some tortellinis. These are some fresh um, cheese tortellinis that I picked up from the grocery store and I'm adding those in a little bit at a time. Um, these ones are fresh, so they only take like about seven to nine minutes to cook, so I'm cooking them right in the broth. If you have the frozen kinds, you can use those as well, but maybe you might wanna just parboil them before adding them to the soup. So yeah, just let them cook, um, and you're pretty much done. When I'm ready to serve this, I just serve it with a little bit of Parmesan sprinkled on top, as well as some parsley for color and it's so beautiful and hearty and rich and delicious so i hope you like it hope you try it and i'll see you in the next one peace